Well, he's been called the king of Vegas sports gambling. And with me is the CEO of Winners Inc., Wayne Root. So, Wayne, great to meet you. Hey, and let me let me correct you with one thing. I'm the CEO okay. of Vegas Winners, which Vegas. is a subsidiary of the publicly traded company Winners Inc. But it's all meshed together as the same thing. The whole thing is headed in one direction and only one direction. Sports gambling is exploding. It's the new national pastime. It's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. It's been legalized by the Supreme Court. And we are right smack dab in the middle of this amazing, I call it a gold rush. It's like the gold rush of the 1800s. Every Everybody wants to bet on sports now, and we're the ones that give the advice, the research, the guidance, the information. It's all there from Vegas Winners and our parent company, Winners Inc. Okay, well, thank you for that clarification, because I know there's there's a kind of layers of corporations, so sometimes it gets a little lost in there. So you mentioned the Supreme Court decision, so that was a real game changer. Of course, you know Nevada on the forefront of that. We saw New Jersey. Now I think what half the states or have yeah. legalized. So, you know we're headed quickly for 30 states by this fall. Okay. Yeah, sports gambling should be legal in 30 states. Online gambling is the key to all of this. Almost everybody, Jane, bets online. State of New Jersey is the, is the perfect model for what's happening in America. New Jersey, well, it was illegal to bet on sports until that decision in 2018. Nevada, where I live, Las Vegas, was legal sports betting for the last you know 70 years. And New Jersey comes along, and in two years, it now regularly passes Nevada with close to a billion dollars a month in legal sports sports betting and 90% or more is online betting. So nobody walks into an old, you know, the old model, walk into a casino, walk into a sports book. Nobody does it anymore. It's all done online and our company, Winners Inc. and Vegas Winners, we provide the advice and the research and the data and the information all online. So it's a perfect marriage. It's all about online sports gambling. You sit in your home, you sit on your your cell phone, your iPhone, your Android, and you make bets on football games or basketball games or baseball games or NASCAR or golf or ultimate fighting championship and you have yourself a great time and it's it's not only an investment it's like Wall Street investment merged perfectly with entertainment because you don't get to watch your stocks and have a good time but you could watch a three-hour sporting event and when it's over because of sports gambling if you win with our advice you get paid to entertain yourself for three hours. It's really the most unique form of entertainment in the world. Yeah. Well, let's back up a little bit. So tell me about your background, because you've got a very interesting kind of route that brought you to where you are now, no pun intended. <laughs> yes, no pun intended. My route is, is a very interesting route for Wayne Root. So I'm an SOB, son of a butcher, you know, son of a blue collar butcher. And uh, the great thing about my dad, the butcher, is he always said anything is possible in America, anything. And I believed it. I bought into the American dream, wound up getting accepted at Columbia University, Ivy League. And, and from that point, you know, everybody thought I'd become a lawyer or a doctor, but they didn't understand my goal was to be Jimmy the Greek. And, and it all started when I was 16 years old, Jane. And there was a story in the local newspaper, Mount Vernon, New York, on the Bronx borderline, very blue collar uh, town. And the story was Wayne Allen Root is the next Jimmy the Greek, the betting whiz kid. And I took that to heart and I made that my goal in life. And by the time I was 26, going on 27 years old, I became one of the youngest anchor men in America on CNBC. And they found Jimmy the Greek. He had just been fired by CBS and they hired him to be my partner partner on TV. So I went from a 16 year old kid saying, I'm going to be Jimmy the Greek, America's number one Vegas odds maker. And the next thing you know, I'm on TV with him. We're partners. And then he hires, they put him out to pasture and it becomes my show. I replaced Jimmy the Greek. Fast forward to today, Jane, I believe I am Jimmy the Greek, except I'm Wayne the Jew. <laughs> and I am Jimmy the Greek for America. You know, I'm the guy to explain in simple terms, entertaining terms, sports gambling to America and the difference is when Jimmy the Greek did it, it was all illegal. Now it's all legal. It's just like Wall Street and it's fun. <laughs> well, I love those stories, like how weird life can be and how if yeah. you really focus and will something like it, it comes. So that was great. Um, if you okay, believe so, it, you can make it happen. That's right. Yeah, we just got to stick with it. So now, Wayne, tell me a little bit about uh, Las Vegas winners. How does it work? Is this an app that people download? Just take me through the whole process. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there is an app under construction, but the main thing is the website, VegasWinners.com, VegasWinners.com. And you just go online. It's 
the most simple business in the world. I was in this business for 30 years, Jane. It's why the media called me the king of Vegas sports gambling and America's handicapper and America's odds maker and, and prince of prognosticators, all the names you could think of. I was called for 30 years when it was mostly illegal. And now it's all legal. And so this website, you go there, you point, you click, and you've got your information. You know, you, you want to make a bet on the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington Redskins, a very famous rivalry in the NFL. And uh, you just point and click, and there's my pick. I take the Dallas Cowboys minus three points, always against the point spread. In other words, when you're betting on games, there's a point spread, just like in golf. There's a handicap. That's why they call us sports handicappers. We're picking against the handicap. So one team's a three-point favorite, a four-point favorite, a ten-point favorite, and you have to decide do you want the favorite or the other dog. You point, you click, you pay your money on your credit card, you got my pick. But there are many revenue streams, Jane, to our business. The revenue streams are selling our advice and research and guidance. Okay, that's number one. Number two is uh, is once you make the bet, we once you uh, get the pick from us, you're going to make the bet somewhere. We give you advertising from sports books all over the United States, legal sports books in each state that you're in. And so you point, you click, you go to that sports book. Well, guess what? They give us a fee for sending them customers. So really, in the long run, I believe, you know, and this has been my vision from the day I became the Jimmy the Greek of my generation. All the money is not in the picks, but rather the biggest revenue stream, the majority of the revenues for the next 20 years are going to be the gambling revenues that the sports book companies like FanDuel's and DraftKings and Win and Caesars and MGM and BetMGM, BetFox, they need customers. We're a customer acquisition machine. And when I go on TV and I talk about sports gambling, thousands of people respond and I send them all to you, the sports book, and you give me a fee for sending them to you. Well, that fee can add up to millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, eventually billions of dollars. They need us. And those are all billion dollar companies. But without my customers and our database, they don't have any customers. They don't have any revenues. So we're a customer acquisition machine. So we have revenues from selling our picks. We have revenues from sending customers to sports books. We have revenues from advertising, mostly sports books. But anyone who wants to reach upscale men, any advertiser wants to reach, you know, a macho male audience because that's sports gambling and we also eventually will have vegas trips and travel because uh, the president of my company is howard lefkowitz and he was the guy that built vegas.com from the first few desks into a 400 million dollar a year company he's a brilliant visionary and strategist and i literally brought him on board to carry out my dream my vision Mm -hmm. Okay, so finally, you mentioned picks. Do you have any picks for this upcoming football season? And how do you think it's going to look as we kind of emerge from the pandemic? Well, my pick is not going to be a game because the football season's a ways away. There's no way to predict that. My pick is actually going to be that football is going to become all about gambling. You know, I, I've tried to tell this to people for 35 years that I've been in this business. It's no fun to sit and just watch a football game, yet millions of people do it every Sunday in the NFL and every Monday night, Monday night football, every Thursday. Thursday night, Thursday night football, millions do it. But guess what? Most people didn't realize most of them had to bet on the game. They were betting illegally with a bookmaker. Now that it's legal, there will be 30 million, 40 million, 50 million Americans betting, Jane, every week on various games. It makes watching a game so much fun. Think about watching a three hour game and you have a thousand dollars on it. When it's over, you're either minus a thousand or you got money to go to a fantastic restaurant for the next 10 nights in a row <laughs> or take your wife out to, to dinner and a movie and a, a show. It's the greatest form of entertainment in the world. The NFL's ratings will explode once people can all make a bet, whether it's $10, $100, or $10,000, and sit in front of the TV and watch the game. This will be the biggest NFL season ever. They just expanded it into partnership with sports gambling, and they expanded the weeks from 16 to 17 week schedule. So there's actually an extra week of games, and that's an extra week of revenue for Vegas winners. So I'm excited. I can tell. Well, best of luck to you. I mean, it's certainly an exciting industry to be in, and it feels like you're right at the very beginning of this industry. It's going to have huge growth ahead. So thank you so much, Wayne, for joining us. Thank you, Jane. Vegaswinners.com is the website. Winners, Inc., the parent company, ticker symbol WNRS. And yes, I'm excited. <laughs>